Good evening. I received an email again from our subscriber, Mr. Miguel Zulueta. And it's all about building construction. He sent us this picture and he said that it's complicated, a little complicated, and he wants to build it. Like, I think this is a powerhouse. So it's, it has different levels and uh, different height of the rooms. So he wants to create this um, building in Dialux Evo. So let's go and uh, let's do it. Okay, by the way, it has, I think it's one basement and one small room on the side. And this is the main ro room, which has 7x7. Seven seven. This is 6x7 and where is the height? I can't find the height. So this one is... Okay, the basement is like 6 by 7. This yellow room, small one, is 3 by 7. And the main building, which is the main powerhouse, is 7 by 11. Okay, and it's stacking all together. So, alright, let's go and do it. So here you go. I open now my Dialux Evo software and we will build up now this structure. So let's review it again because he did not send his CAD file. So we will build this structure from scratch. So let's go first for the basement which is 6 by 7. So we will use this uh, reference line. Let's create a line here and put 7 meters and then another reference line here which is 6 meters. Okay, let's make it negative 6. It will go down. And then what else? It's 7 by 11.5, the main building. Okay, so again a reference line here. Let's make it 11.5 and the same width which is 7 and then the small one here is 3 meters so let's create the 3 meters on this side all right so now we have our building so let's extend this one and measure it Okay, this is 7, and this is 6, this is 11.5, and this is 3. Alright, very good. So first, um, Miguel, let's build up first the basement because this is the base of your building. So let's go and draw the building here, and here, and here. So this is your basement okay let's remove this one okay and let's create a wall on this one let's assume that this is the thickness of your wall because you did not send us your thickness of the wall so let's see um did you s give us your yeah i don't see the height so let's assume this is more or less let's say it's three meters Okay, let's make it 3 meters high. Thickness floor is uh, 0.2. It's fine. So, let's look at it. Okay, now this is your basement. And now, let's go and create the, <clears throat> um, the floor element. This is the base or the zero ground line. So, let's extend up to here. Now, since now you have your basement, we will move the basement to the lower part of the ground line. So, let's move it. Put it down like this. And now it's on the basement. It's easy, right? Now, we will now lay out the second floor. So, let's go and select this tab and say um, create a new empty story. And then go to your layout. Oops. Oh, shucks. My outline is gone. So let's go and create another outline here. 
So reference line here, it says um, 11.5. Okay, that is fine. So now let's create our story 2. Let's go and create the building contour here. Okay, let's edit it later. And then create the new indoor. Let's assume that this is your... Oh, okay. I think we need to include the other one. The 3 meters. Okay, because you have a small one here which has 3 meters width of room. And this is the main building. I think we need to include this new one. And then create a small room. And then create a new level for this main building. Okay, it's better to show than to explain it here. Alright, so let's go and edit our story too. So this is the one uh, this is the one we created for a story too. Then we need to adjust it here. I created a new reference line which is three meters. So let's go and extend it here. Alright. And then now we have this room and we will create a new room for the other one for the small um, height room on the side of the main building okay so now you have this one and since because I created it very high so we need to assume that the small room the yellow the, the one with the yellow highlighted is three meters high so let's make it like that and then let's um, create another layer or another empty story and that is only for the main building so let's create a new guideline here and say 11.5 and this will be your um, uh, main building con uh, Main, main building walls so let's create a new uh, okay the wall should be um, similar to the ground floor okay later we will check that one and then let's make this one as let's imagine this is six story because the main building is really high so let's go and see in the 3d so if you want to check how it will be look like okay let's go back to your drawing and you have your um, door here so let's put a door on the story 2 which is the main building area let's create a door here and let's this is um, two swing door okay and let's say this is go to the dimension the height will be 2.1 let's make this one as 2 meters width of door so let's make this one as 0 just assume this is the door but it's not changing so it be 0 okay there you go okay so this is your building now if you want to see how it looks like go to the to the display options and go to the wireframe so now you have your powerhouse building and let's go and check so this is your basement and this is your small room and this is your main room okay you can you can edit that um, height later on if you want this dialog file I will send it to you and if this uh, because this is the main room and we need to cut uh, the floor or the ceiling so it will become one and if this small room is also connected to the main building then we need to cut the wall also and again if this basement is again open to this main building then we need to cut this wall again and how to do that so go back and close this wireframe view and then go to story number this is actually number three so now we are in story three and then let's cut the floor so it will be open to your main uh, to your ground floor so go to this one make sure you are in the 3d view to do the cutting and then to make it precise go to the plan view and then adjust your cutting 
plane. So when you go inside and go to the 3D and go inside of the, you will see that now it is open. Okay, that's why I'm telling you it should be, um, you should have the guide, the, the line for, the wall for the, the ground floor and to the second floor must be aligned. At, and because I um, we don't have your CAD file, so I just assume the thickness of your wall. And of course, if you want to see the basement, then we, we need to cut the basement here. So let's go to your ground floor. Oh, sorry, not story one. That is this basement. Story two, and go to the 3D. And then let's cut again if your basement is open to the ground floor. And then... Maybe we need to create a reference line. Draw a reference line and I think this is 7 meters. Oh no, 6 meters. Okay, so your cutting plane should be in the 6 meters. Alright. Okay, it will be precise once you have your cut file. So now when you go inside the building, it is now open. From the basement, this is your basement. I will color it. Uh, what is your color anyway? It's green and then yellow. Okay, let's color it with green also. So you can label it properly. Alright. So if you go inside the building, you will now have your basement, which is, which is this green one. And then this is the ground line. And on the second, uh, on the next room, which is here, will be your small room and if you want to cut that one also if in case this is also connected to the main building then you go to you need to go inside so go to the building um, story 2 and then cut this um, wall if it's really open to this main building and go to the elevation to properly cut it Okay, this is just an assumed cutting uh, plane. But if you have your cut file, then it's much easier. Okay, so now you have, you go to the building. Okay, let's go to the site first. This is the site view. So underneath is your basement. So this is your ground plane. And this tall one is your main building. And this one is your sub building. So if you go inside, go inside the building. Okay, let's go inside and use the door. <laughs> so now you have your basement here and your small room there. If you have door, then you can create door. But I made it open. I used the cutting plane or sorry, the cutting option. So it will be open. But if it's house door, then you can create a door. So if you do the calculation, you will have a different calculation point, which is here, here, and on the other room. Yeah. Okay. So we can see now that the down lights are there. Your sub room is there. You can add lights if you like. And your basement is here. And if you want to put some objects like machines or anything, you can do so also. And if you want to see the pseudo color, just click this one so you can evaluate which part is the dark side, the dark areas, and which are highlighted very much. So this one is 100 lux. All right, so that's it. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It's easy and it's, it's fun. So just do it. Okay, again, if you want to check in the wireframe, yeah, you can do it here. Alright? Okay, that's all. Bye-bye.